is a bro? White, male, jock, frat guy, econ major, Zach. I'm Zach. To arrive at a broader and more nuanced definition of the archetype, Broadly is conducting an ongoing anthropological study. This is Ask a Bro. For our first episode, we came to a college campus. Cornell University in Ithaca, New York, the spawning ground of bros. The bro I'm talking to today is a bro many know well. He is a ubiquitous presence on the college campus of America's imagination. Today, we're asking acapella bros. Hi, Hi Lauren. Uh, I'm Tom. I'm Teddy. Tim. Meet Cayuga's Dan. Waiters, the oldest all-male acapella group on campus. Nice to meet you. Glorious to view. So my first question is a general one. What is acapella? James? Um, it's like a group singing where there's no instruments involved. This is a great answer. Do you feel like being a waiter gives you a certain status on campus? Uh, it is one of the biggest parts of Cornell tradition. I mean, we're the oldest a cappella group. Um, we're actually number four on the list of 161 things to do, and that's a list of everything that a freshman should accomplish in their time at Cornell. And so, I mean, that just demonstrates how much of a part of Cornell we are. Is he humming of the bustling town? Reared against the arch of heaven. It's something that people know about on campus, and it's, it's pretty impressive. And then, actually, we even had um, the new Pitch Perfect movies the book that they're based on was written by an alumni of our group who graduated in 2000. What, Mickey, thing, Mickey Rapkin? Mickey Rapkin. I think there's some, what is, what is his thing? He said something like, he could win a Pulitzer Prize and there'd still be no feeling like running out into that Bailey Hall stage, just singing Spring Fever, and it's... You're in the screaming crowd. It's totally it's awesome. So fun. It is. It's unlike any other theater there's in the no world. Rush. There's no greater rush. Can someone explain Pitch Perfect to me? I don't know what it is. What about you, James? Uh, I actually just watched it this summer. Uh -huh. Personally, the um, the camaraderie aspect of that movie uh, really said a lot to me. Ask a bro. Ask a bro. Ask a bro. Ask a bro. What's the first word that comes to mind when I say bro? Fun. It takes two or more to be a bro. You can't be a bro on your own. Buddy. Friendly. Nice guy. Social, probably. Uh, chill. I was gonna say chill, but like, someone who I'd want to hang out with. Dog. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I guess like the stereotype of bros could be like, sort of like a dog, you know, they're just, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Ask a bro. Do you consider yourselves bros? Mm. Bro's been stigmatized a lot, but its root is brother. <laughs> <laughs> Dan. Dan. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really deep connection, and we're all connected as well by our passion for music. And so it, it's, we're connected in a lot of ways, and it's really, it's really great. So yes, I would consider us bros, but in a good way, not in the stigmatized way. It's, possibly become. What's the stigmatized way? We do play beer pong, so I mean, I guess that's an aspect of it. We, I used to wear a backwards baseball hat. <laughs> a lot of you are that's wearing cool. khaki shorts and the same shoes. I mean, you know. This is what we call this sorority show attire. So I just like to dress this way, and, you know? To each his own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So who's in a frat? OK, which frat? Can, can we go back to acapella? I would, yeah. I would prefer if we didn't talk about it for two minutes, if that's okay with you. I'm sorry. So I just finished talking to the bros, and they were incredibly wholesome. They were like, only one of them was from Minnesota, but it was like all of them were from Minnesota. Actually, they were mostly from Connecticut, but it doesn't matter. 
And they'd like said they never fought, which is insane to me because I think if you got a group of women together, they would fight all the time. Like, I fight with women, and I'm not even in group with them. <laughs> As I bid farewell to Cayuga's waiters, I couldn't help but wonder, is this the bro we've been looking for? I observed khaki shorts, matching boat shoes, pack behavior, and curious yet tender moments of friendly roughhousing and closed circuit fraternizing. And yet, I feel our investigation is incomplete. For I found few opportunities to break the solidarity of the brotherhood. A hug for James. <laughs> and learn what makes a bro a bro. Me.